This old world's no place for living, not enough caring, not enough giving. Sometimes clouds of sin and sorrow hide the way. But this life with stormy weather ain't going to be my home for it. I'm going to be moving one of these days. I'm going to be moving, moving away. Going to be moving one of these days. When I leave this life behind me, no cares are never going to find me. I'm going to be moving one of these days. There won't be. No more sickness or dying, joy awaits me in that mansion far away. When I rest from all my labor, the Lord's gonna be my next door neighbor. Gonna be moving one of these days. I'm gonna be moving, moving away. Moving away, gonna be moving one of these days. When I leave this life behind me, troubles and cares are never gonna find me. Gonna be moving one of these days. Yeah, praise the Lord. Gonna be moving one of these days. Let us stand, please. Turn the service over to Brother Bud. This time, may the Lord bless our brother. Let us pray. Gracious, loving, heavenly Father, we do again bow in your divine presence, and we give you thanks and honor for all that you do. Father, we thank you for this privilege that you have granted to us to be able to assemble ourselves here together so we can praise you and worship you. Father, I ask that you will anoint me as I stand to preach your word. Father, I pray that this will be a blessing to all of your children around this world who listen in. Father, we commit everything into your hands. And Father, we pray for those that are sick and suffering in their bodies. And we pray that you will grant your divine healing touch to our brothers and sisters. And we humbly ask this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, you may be seated. <clears throat> I'm changing my title tonight. My title is The Lord is My Strength and my shield. Brothers and sisters, we are all going through a difficult time in this world. But the Lord is our strength, and he is our shield from the devil. Let's go to the book of Psalms, the 28th chapter.
I'm just going to read verses 6 through 9. Blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. Brothers and sisters, he hears your voices when you pray to him. The Lord is my strength and my shield. And this is the chapter that I got my title from. The, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in Him. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my song, I will praise Him. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in Him. Do you, brothers and sisters, trust in the Lord for all of your needs, no matter what they are? He will supply all of your needs according to to his perfect will. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my song will I praise the Lord. The Lord is their strength, and He is the saving strength of His anointed. Brothers and sisters, we are the anointed saints of God. And brothers and sisters, the Lord is our strength. And he is our shield. Thank you, brother. I'm going to read that eighth verse again. The Lord is their strength. And he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people... And bless thine inheritance. Feed them also. And lift them up forever. I know that there are some that are going through tests and trials that you cannot withstand on your own. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is your strength. He is your shield. He will be merciful to all of His children. Let's go to the book of 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter. (coughs) 
I'm going to read verses 1 through 7 and then 29 through 33. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song. In the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Brothers and sisters, he is the same for you and I. He is our rock. He is our fortress. He is our deliverer. The God of my rock, in Him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of Of my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my Savior, thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised so shall I be saved from mine enemies. Brothers and sisters, if we will call on the Lord when we are going through situations that we can't bear, He will strengthen us. He will be your shield. When the waves of death come past me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. And I'm sure that we have all been in that situation. Ungodly men and women torment us. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. If you are in distress, Tonight, call upon the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God. And He did hear my voice out of His temple. And my cry did enter into His ears. Brothers and sisters, when we pray, the God of our salvation hears us. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, 
and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Like I've said many times before, when I got shot, I prayed to the Lord that He would not let me be crippled so I could work and provide for my wife and my son, which was just a little baby. And he provided me good health. In my distress, I was in distress then. I called upon the Lord and cried to my God. And He did hear my voice out of His temple. And my cry did enter into His ears. Young people, young children, dedicate your life unto the Lord, and He will hear your prayers. Let's go over to the 29th verse. <clears throat> For... Thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For by Thee I have run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, His way is perfect. His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust Him. In Him. For who is God? Save the Lord. And who is a rock? Save our God. God is my strength and power. He maketh my way Perfect. Brothers and sisters, He makes all of our ways perfect. He is our strength. He is our shield. He is our buckler. No matter what you are going through with, God hears your prayers. Let's go to Psalms, the 119th chapter. <coughs> Psalms. 
I'm going to read the 89th verse, and then I'll read the 105th verse through the 117th verse. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. 119.89 Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Now let's go to the 105th verse. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. I have sworn and will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Accept, I beseech thee, the free will offerings of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. Praise the Lord. I have inclined my mine heart to perform perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. Brothers and sisters, when the devil comes and torments us, our God is our hiding place and our shield. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Brothers and sisters, the promises of God are true. And he promised he would shield us. Depart for me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Brothers and sisters, when the devil comes and torments you and tells you that you are not a child of God, resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Tell him. 
You are a liar. Get out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to go. Depart from me, ye evil doers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word that I may live. And let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up and I shall be safe. And I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. We ought to all have respect of the promises of God <clears throat> that he will keep his word and deliver us from the torments of Satan. Brothers and sisters, as we are getting closer to the end of this, this age of time, Satan is tormenting all of God's children to no end at all. But brothers and sisters, if you are a child of God, resist the devil. And he will flee from you. That's a promise of God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Let's go to the ninth chapter of the book of Psalms. Verses 1 and 2 and 9 and 10. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name. O oh, thou most high. Will you do that? Verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble. Brothers and sisters, the Lord will be a refuge if you are oppressed or depressed. He will be a refuge for you in the times of your trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust 
in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Brothers and sisters, God will not forsake us if we, in our troubles, will seek Him. In our depressions, the devil depresses many children of God. But the Lord is our strength and our shield. He is our rock of salvation. I'm going to read verses 9 and 10 again. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Brothers and sisters, put your trust in your heavenly Father no matter what you are going through with. Put your trust in God. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. That is a promise from God. Let's go to the 18th chapter of the book of Psalms. <clears throat> this is going to be another short message. Verses 1 through 6. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy do, to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. And brothers and sisters, the devil is our enemy for sure. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to, to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compass me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, 
the snares of death prevented me. Listen to what it says. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of His temple and my cry came before Him even into His ears. Brothers and sisters, if you are going through torments of the devil, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. The Lord hears all of his children's prayers. He knows the distress that we are going through. And he will deliver us from that distress if we call upon him. The 31st chapter of the book of Psalms. Verses 1 through 9. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Trust in the Lord. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. For an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. We should all seek the Lord for his leadership and guidance. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me. For thou art my strength. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is your strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. For thou has considered my trouble. He has considered your troubles too. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. 
and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Are you in trouble? He will have mercy on you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, my soul and my belly. Are you consumed with grief? Put your complete trust in the Lord. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly. Now, the last chapter, 62. <clears throat> verses 1 through 8 truly my soul waiteth upon God from him cometh my salvation he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. That's talking about the enemies. They bless their mouth, but they curse inwardly. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul wait thou only upon God for my expectation is from him is your expectation from God He only is my rock, my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times. 
brothers and sisters, no matter what you are going through with, trust in your heavenly Father at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. He is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the times of trouble. The Lord is my strength and my shield, my buckler, and my salvation. Heavenly Father, I again thank you for your precious word. Father, I pray this this message was a help to your precious children. Father, I know that there are some that are going through the torments of the devil in their mind. Father, I pray that you will strengthen them. And that you will minister to their needs according to your perfect will. Father, I know that there are some that are so depressed. But, Father, I know that you can take that depression from their mind. Father... I ask that you will do so. Father, we just humbly commit our lives into your hands. Father, we know that you will strengthen us and you will keep our minds Father, we commit everything into your hands, and we humbly ask this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope this was a help to you. I'll turn the service back over to Brother Allen. It's tonight. God surely is our refuge. We appreciate the Lord for being that to us. Let's stand if we would, and if someone has a need, you may come for prayer. Oh, God, he my refuge without him what would I do when clouds of doubt hover o'er me storms of life toss me to and fro oh there is a place I can go. He's the shield 
from every tempest. He's an anchor that is sure. Oh, in times like these, it's good to know. Oh, God is my refuge, a strong and mighty tower that I can run into. God is my refuge. Without Him, what would I do? Once I wandered from His shelter, up ahead I could not see. Those dark clouds so heavy with rain. When the rains blew hard against me, I cried out and I ran to Him. Now I'll never wander again. Oh, God is my refuge, a strong and mighty tower that I can run into. God is my refuge. Without Him, what would I do? Oh, God is my refuge. Oh, a strong and mighty tower that I can you as you head home I don't think it's turned out bad like they said it would because I've not really heard anything uh, from the outside like usually we would if it was really a storm so just praise the Lord thank him for his benefits and blessings he blesses us with brother Howard you pray as we're dismissed